So you probably thought that the iPhone mini was gonna be the most popular iPhone, but according to experts, that's not gonna be the case. We have several new leaks on what we should and should not expect for the iPhone 12 lineup happening tomorrow. OnePlus has confirmed that we are getting a new Nord device or new Nord devices this month. And we also have more details on the other products that we're expecting from Apple's event and how they'll interact. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm gonna start trying to find jackets that look, I don't know, that bring some of this, because why is it getting cold already? This is Sparking Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals, and why not let's make it about Prime Day because every single company wants to have their own thing at the same time, even if we've got the rest of the year for you to take advantage of. The MacBook Air is now $150 off, leaving the eight gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage variant for 1200 bucks. The latest 12.9 inch iPad Pro is also $50 off, leaving the Wi-Fi only 128 gigs of storage variant for 950. To conclude the Apple section, the iPad mini is $63 off, which leaves the 64 4 gigabyte variant for $336. Now moving on, there are a ton of deals on Amazon products like the Echo Show 5, which is currently 50% off, leaving it at 45 bucks. We've got a full list of other deals in the links in the description, as again, what we cover here in the daily is just a couple of highlights. There's so much more on sale right now. Now, how about if we talk about Razer, and can I just applaud this company for being that knight in shining armor that understands that you really don't need for computers to look like dinosaurs for them to be good gaming laptops. The company has just launched their new gaming ultrabook with the Blade Stealth 13 at RazorCon. It brings an 11th generation Intel Core i7, and this is actually one with the Tiger Lake processors. It also packs a 16 gigs of RAM, 112 gigs on the solid state drive, and an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti with a Max-Q design. You get Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.1, two USB-A ports, two USB-C Thunderbolt ports, and a headphone jack combo. The entry-level variant brings a 13.3 inch Full HD display running at 120 hertz, weighing around 3.11 pounds, and it's actually just 0.6 six inches thick, this model will cost you 1799 bucks. Now here's the thing, if you're planning on buying them, my advice to you, wait for my friend David Kogan's video. If not, look for him, YouTube, The Unlocker, he's the best and he is such a Razer fan, he'll tell you exactly what you need to do or what you need to consider. Now let's talk about the company that continues to make highlights in the smartphone game and even the flagship smartphone game even with everything that's happened to them. Obviously, we're talking Huawei. Over the weekend, Huawei announced that they will be having their Mate 40 event on October 22nd at 2 p.m. China time. So far, we've heard that the company is having several issues with their Karen 9000 processors, so this might just be an announcement event with the phone coming later. Now, something that the company is heavily teasing is the camera. We're expecting a 108 megapixel main sensor, a freeform 9P lens, the periscopic module for the 5X optical zoom, and ultra wide and a time of flight sensor. Now the head of their smartphone unit also posted a new picture on Weibo where you can see the moon in broad daylight and honestly with an impressive amount of detail. And apparently this picture was actually taken with the Mate 40, not even the Pro. So yeah, if this is the regular variant, I can't start to imagine what the Pro is gonna be able to do. I'll tell you this, I have the P40 Pro Plus and out of every single phone that I've tried in 2020, if you ask me what the best camera is, P40 Pro Plus, hands down. So I'm looking forward to what they're gonna bring with this Mate 40 Pro or whatever it's gonna be called. And guys, yes, we know. We have an Apple event, most likely tomorrow's daily is gonna be everything about it. But we continue to get so many rumors over what's happening what's not, and what we're getting from the other products. First, let's cover the non-iPhone related products. Starting with the HomePod, we got some new tweets from John Proser where he mentions that the new HomePod mini and the new Apple TV will serve as a UWB base station. This means that they will track your location once you walk inside your house while using other UI devices like your iPhone or Apple Watch. They'll actually use information from them for media controls, brightness and volume controls, and doors and locks 
if you have HomeKit. You can even use the Find My application to see if one of your devices has been moved or taken from your home. Honestly, it sounds pretty creepy at first, but also cool. And Prosser also claims that Apple will be making a big deal of all the capabilities of this U1 chip, so let's see. But moving on, let's talk Apple AirPods Studio. According to him, his sources still say that it's impossible to get AirPods Studio tomorrow, but Apple first removed the dedicated Beats page from the Apple Store and then brought it back. But they're actually still selling Beats on the original landing page, but uh, we don't know what the plans are gonna be. You know, it's interesting. We wonder if Apple wants to like fully merge AirPods with Beats, which would make all the sense in the world, even if, you know, the Beats brand has been around for a while. I mean, it's got all its popularity, so we'll see how it ends. And finally, the hottest news today have to do with Apple's event happening tomorrow. Grab some popcorn. We've got some more rumors over what we're getting, and obviously this just builds even more anticipation for the event, and you can bet we're gonna be covering everything you wanna know about it. Let's begin with a new note from Ming-Chi Kuo where he predicts what's gonna be the top seller when it comes to iPhones. According to Quo, there is demand for a smaller variant, but not worldwide. He predicts that even with the 699 price tag, there's not a ton of people looking for smaller iPhones, and that the 6.1 inch iPhone 12 will outsell the 5.4 inch mini. He believes that Apple will ship 80 to 85 million units of the iPhone 12 model in Q4 of this year, 10 million higher than what we got for the iPhone 11. That's what lowering the price tag does, though if you think about it, they're actually making it more expensive. Now, let's talk about the things we won't be getting for a second. I still have some hope for 120 hertz displays making the cut, but according to Prosser, Apple didn't add the feature due to 5G. Apparently Cupertino picked 5G rather than ProMotion because it's an easier thing to market, and having both of them on this phone would require a significantly larger battery than what we're actually getting. So along with the missing drivers, this is why we won't be getting ProMotion until next year. Now on a side note, we should be getting the Shrunk Face ID module that will increase the angles and will introduce a new algorithm for faster speeds, digital and optical zoom that are getting a massive boost, night mode will be available on the telephoto, even if it was in the past, and deep fusion improvements, but we also expect it to actually finally make the ultra wide. Finally, he also added that we're getting larger batteries mainly because of 5G. But uh, anyways, we're just a couple of hours before the event. Uh, obviously expect all of our coverage. Pocketnow.com is gonna be full of posts of everything that's going on. And obviously we will have a full recap on the daily of tomorrow, but let us know in the comments. I mean, uh, do you agree with the whole thing that the larger iPhone 12 is gonna be more popular than the mini? Cause in my case, I, I think I think Quo's right. But leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Also, follow us on social media as our extended coverage happens on Instagram. Follow me on my personal handles to see me complain about the weather, because that's a thing now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with the Apple event. We're going to have a lot of coverage.